Hey everybody, welcome to Prittle Mondays. Prittle Mondays, where the puzzles are real and the cookies don't matter. What are Prittle Mondays? Prittle Mondays is where we work on puzzles and riddles together, cooperatively, uh, in order to improve at armchair treasure hunts. I am a big fan of armchair treasure hunts. However, some of the puzzles and riddles stump me, particularly the word ones. And so I have this weekly live stream to go over different puzzles and riddles, and we try to solve them together. The way this was, way I can uh, improve my vocabulary, my lateral thinking, and my ability to think outside the box. If you have a puzzle and riddle that you want me to um, to work on, you can email it to me at ajrainville1973 at gmail.com. A-T-E. Yes, Brian. Oh, I didn't mean to put this one up at the front. <laughs> uh, yes, and in, uh, in a little bit, we're going to do some of these anagrams where uh, take the same word and then you anagram it multiple times to form new words. We're going to work on this a little bit after I have a little rebus that I wanted to show. I didn't mean to have this one be up my front one, but welcome, Brian P. Yes, uh, for this three-letter word, and we had this one last week, though Gary ate his tea biscuits, I didn't eat mine. So we've got three different words, as Brian P. did in the chat, of um, the same three letters, but with three different words. Uh, I'm going to work on that. We're going to work on that in a second. Uh, I saw this one as a interesting rebus, so I was going to leave this one up for anybody who wanted to do this. Uh, what I'm interested in doing today, we're going to do uh, after we finish this now own and one. All right, he's doing these are the ones from last week. I own, oh, I, I now own a trophy because I won the bowling tournament. All right, good job, Brian. <laughs> I, we had those last week. I was just using, I was going to have that up as an example before I went to the six letter one, six letter anagrams. But this is a rebus, and this is an interesting rebus, and this is what I meant to have while I was doing my little preamble in the beginning. Uh, a rebus usually is a group of words or a picture in words, and a rebus will then give you a common expression or even a, a different word based on that word. It's usually some type of picture in words or just words, um, and that gets you means something else. And this one I saw online today, and I thought it was pretty interesting. And this is this rebus I wanted to put up uh, for everybody to work on at the beginning as I was doing my little preamble. So what I like to do after this, okay, I think I, I don't think I finished my thought. After this rebus, we're going to go and do some anagram lateral thinking puzzles. I have words on stream, and then I actually have some armchair treasure, and so I've been having fun just doing a little bit of research. And I thought we could do the research some additional research together on these little treasure hunts that are go around the country. And no one has figured out the rebus yet. We can come back to it. I'm not going to give out the answer yet, um, but I might bring it up again in the middle of the anagrams. So we will go back to the anagrams. I guess, so these, as the example that Brian did here, though Gary ate his tea biscuits, the Emerald Power, welcome. Though Gary ate his tea biscuits, I didn't eat mine. So three, these are three-letter word anagrams. And the other three-letter anagram that Brian did, I now own a trophy because I won the bowling tournament. So you fill in each line with the same three letters or the same word using the same letters. So we did a bunch of these anagrams last week, and I thought they were pretty fun. So we're going to do some more, but we're going to start with the six-letter ones. Six letter anagram. So these are our first these are our first ones. And you should be able to see. So these are six letter anagrams. Let me make sure I'm not covering up anything. You guys can see that. The blank had to blank behind to help secure their position while the blank were conducting further bombing runs. So these are six letter anagrams. Ear piece one dollar. It's not. That's not it, Brian. Keep trying though. So we do have the anagram. Uh, not the anagram. The rebus. This is a rebus. 
If you have a guess for the Rebus, you can go ahead and put it in the chat anytime. Meanwhile, we have these six letter anagrams. The first sentence is the blank had to blank behind to help secure their position while the blank were conducting further bombing runs. Our other anagram lateral thinking puzzle, the blank saw the blank after it landed on the barbed wire and let out a loud blank. So, and I don't know the answers to these either, so I'm going to see if I can put this in a way that I can see. Uh, maybe I can shrink this a little bit. It doesn't have to be quite so big. There we go. That works. Now I just have to move chat a little bit. Loud scream. Literally, a loud scream. Okay, this is what I was trying to do. So for 30, DM thinks it's scream. S C R E A M. The blank saw the blank after it landed on the barbed wire. So maybe is this a is there can we anagram this to a bird? Necra. I don't know, for twenty nine, I was thinking. Oops, let me do twenty nine. The blank had to leave behind. No, the blank had to blank behind. No, it's not even a six letters. It's got to be six letters. What am I doing? Six letter anagrams. I'm also terrible at this DM. That's why we're here. We're trying to get better. The blank had to... Slip out, remove. I'm trying to come up with six letter words. The blank saw the blank after it landed on the barbed wire and let out a loud blank. Scream is a six letter word. Oh, Todd and Melissa Rainville, welcome. 29, remain. Had to remain behind. Okay, R-E-M-A-I-N. Remain behind. To help secure the position. I bet I'm covering this up, am I? Nope, nope, not covered up. Put out a loud <laughs> scream. DM says airman. Okay. Oh, airman. Okay. A, whoops, A-I-R-M-E-N. The airmen had to remain behind to help secure their position while the blank were conducting their further bombing runs. Airmen works. Marine, says Brian. While the Marine, M A R. I-N-E, that works. <laughs> Boom. Well, the Marine... I would think it would have to be was conducting further bombing runs because Marine is singular, but we'll go with that. I'll check out the answer for that one. All I gotta do is go here and here. What was it, 29? Marine, remain, airman. Oh! The Marine had to, okay, it was Marine first. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Brian's got it. The Marine had to remain behind to help secure their position while the airmen, plural, were conducting further bombing runs. All right. Yep, yep, yep. So the Marine is the first one. So that's 29. Now we got 30.
So the blank saw the blank after it landed on the barbed wire and let out a loud blank. Yeah, nice teamwork. 31 is, it wasn't the blank thing that entomologist said, but at least we learned sometimes blank occurred in the blank world. Again, six letters. These are all six letter anagrams. Reskim. No. Worst, best, that's too many letters, that's eight letters. So you would think for 30, it's a some type of bird. Saw the bird after it landed on the barbed wire. No. Yes. Love you. Love you also. The blank saw the blank after it landed on the barbed wire and let out a loud blank. That's 30. 31 is it wasn't the blank thing the entomologist said, but at least we learned sometimes blank occurred in the world. Squawk. I let out a loud squawk. So maybe not scream. We're thinking squawk. And that's a tough to anagram into other other things. Black. Okay, it's a it's a good six letter word, but I'm having a hard time anagramming it into other ones. I'm gonna undo it. There we go. Yell, scream, cries out. Man, I'm trying to work on my synonyms too. Yep, all good, DM. It's all good. It wasn't the blank thing the entomologist said. But sometimes we learn, but at least we learn sometimes blank occurred in the blank world. An entomologist, is that cancer? Entomologist. Scientist does insects. Oh, okay. <laughs> insects, bugs, right. Hey, hint of riches. Welcome, Mike. Nicest incest insect. It wasn't the nicest thing the entomologist said, but at least we learned sometimes incest occurred in the insect world. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Marty Bird. Welcome, Marty Bird. And he gets one of the anagram puzzles. <laughs> oh, it wasn't the nicest thing the entomologist said, but at least we learned sometimes incest occurred in the insect world. My goodness. All right. So we're still working on 30. The blank saw the blank after it landed on the barbed wire and let out a loud blank. So we're still working on 30. All right, I'm going to go ahead and look up the answer so you can get one of the words. It is okay. All right, the last word. Make sure I spell it right. All right, the last word is shriek, S-H-R-I-E-K. And what are the, I saw the first one, what's the other one? 
Oh goodness, that's hard. <laughs> that's difficult. All right, it's. Well, I'll give you a little bit of time. The blank saw the blank after it landed on the barbed wire and let out a loud blank. Oh, you guys got the hard one. Yes. Hikers. Hikers. Shrike. And shriek. I'll give a cookie for DM and a cookie for Marty. And it, those who, were, who just joined, we have a rebus that no one has got yet. This is the rebus right up here. If you like to guess at the rebus, go ahead and guess at any time. Any time. All right, we're going to go back over here. Why doesn't it fit? Close enough. The farmer was grave and blank after the crops of blank and cassaba blank were ruined by pests. Mm. The blank was blank on Ralph after he was supposed to run for help, but blanked blank instead. Okay. Oh, I was also going to give a cookie to Marty. Another cookie from Marty. The farmer was grave and blank after the crops of blank and cassaba blank were ruined by pests. We've got six letter anagrams. Each blank is a six letter word anagram of each other. Somber. I don't like the cassaba. I don't like this crops of blank and cassaba is that were ruined by pests. I'm going to look at 30. I'm a little closer at 33. The blank was blank on Ralph after he was supposed to run for help, but blank instead. Hmm. Guilt. Guilty. G-U-I-L-T-Y. -Y. Solemn lemons and melons, says Davo Braun. Oh my goodness. The farmer was grave and solemn after the crops of lemons and cassaba melons were ruined by pests. Wow. Davo Braun. That is well worth an emoji cookie. <laughs> So what we've what I've found is, or is trying once you get one and then you try to get the other word. So I'm, I'm thinking the blank was no guilty isn't the right word. I'll go ahead and bring up another. All right, six letter anagrams. I had to blank a friend to help me blank for my lost dog, but she was being too blank to be found. So 33, six, this is a six letter anagrams of each other. The blank was blank on Ralph after he was supposed to run for help, but blank instead. For 34, we have, I had to blank a friend to help me blank for my lost dog, but she was being too blank to be found. G-U-I-L-T, guilt is, it's not enough. Is one of them blamed? The blank was blamed on Ralph after he was supposed to run for help, but blanked instead. Enlist a friend. I like that one. 34. Enlist a friend to help me listen. But she was being too silent to be found. Nice, nice. Cookie for DM. DM got that first one.
enlist, listen, and silent. But you, I had to enlist a friend to help me listen for my lost dog, but she was being too silent to be found. Nice. So she's going to be found here. All right, so this is the last six-letter one. And we still have a rebus. I'm going to put it right there. The blank was blamed Oops. I wanted this one, but I wanted to undo, undo, undo. The blank was blamed on Ralph after he was supposed to run for help. 33 blamed. So if I was trying to get this one smaller. Maybe even smaller. The blank was blamed on Ralph after he was supposed to run for help, but lambed instead. Lambed? Lambed? Bedlam? The bedlam was blamed The bedlam was blamed on Ralph after he was supposed to run for help, but Blanked, blank instead. Hmm. Lambed, lambed is a word. Going on the lamb. All right, let me see what the answer is. What were we doing? 33. Oh, no, it's no, okay. Bedlam and blamed, but it's a different word. It looks good, but it's not. We got two of the three. I think the key, and I didn't realize how important is one it was, is run. He was supposed to run for help, but he who got bedlam. All right, cookie for Brian for getting bedlam. Come on, you guys can do it. All right, it's ambled, ambled, A-M-A-M-B-L-E-D, ambled. The bedlam was blamed on Ralph after he was supposed to run for help, but ambled instead. Ambled was what the third word was. Whew. All right, we're gonna move to words on stream. This is a fun little streaming game where you make at least four letter words out of the group of letters that are shown on the screen. Got to get that corn one before Sassy gets here. <laughs> corn one is still hasn't been found. Here is the corn one. This is a rebus, and it's a good one. Corn holy. <laughs> All right. So come up with at least four letter words. Ear price buck is not correct. All right, at least four letter words based on the letters on the screen. Put them right into the chat. Oh, I can hear it. <laughs> I can hear it on somebody's device behind me. <laughs> Cairn, nice word. Cigar, nice. I see Craig. Uh, 
I see one of the big words. There's three six-letter words. Oh, Josh, welcome. Josh Minecraft. Oh, there's it is right there. <laughs> Let's see if some, I'll let someone else get it because I've got a little bit of a lead on everybody. So we're making at least four letter words with the letters that you see on the screen. Once you figure out the word, just put it right in the chat. If you're the first one to get it, your name will get put up onto the screen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looks like there's one more H word. One more H word. Oh, Brian got the H word, so it's just a five-letter word left, and it's the uh, the words that are in the same number of letters. They appear alphabetically, so we know this five-letter word will alphabetically appear after leper. So we'll not start with an H or an E. Oh, I see what it is. You got that word? You had help. Oh yeah, you got the word help. <laughs> Looks like somebody beat you to it, though. No. All right, level seven. Let's do it. The words will start getting harder. Like now we've got a fake letter. There's one letter that is fake and will not help you form a word. So we got flute. I'm wondering if that's all right. So I think the F is fake. Yeah, yeah. DM agrees. It's the F is fake. I see Colt. So there's only five letters, words, or more. Lettuce. Nice. Lettuce. Oh, isn't there a thing as a cuttlefish? Oh, no, nope, Raven beat me to it. <laughs> mm. Cutlet, nice. So we only have five letter words remain. So we only have five letter words remain, I'm, and I'm not sure what they are. Well, Brian got one, elect, nice. Clute, no. I don't know what it is either. All right, next level 10, we will have a fake letter again. One of these letters will be fake. Well, 
Well, the uh, Forest Fenners out there. I'm wondering if Chest is one. Nope. Chest is not one of them. The H, Ryan thinks the H is fake. No, we've got wash in there. So the, the H is okay. Cashew. Brian got it. Nice. Cashews. So we'll try to create words using Brian's word there. Cashew. Hmm. Aces. Cash. I see each. Looks like there's one more. Oh, Josh got the C word. All right, so we got all the four letter words and we got all the words but one. That's pretty good. Pretty good. We will continue to the next game. It's next level 13. So once again, <clears throat> all right. So now we have a fake letter and we have a hidden letter this time. I'm going to try Ford and Cord. Mm, Brian beat me to cord. So the F might be fake. All right, so the hidden letter is a second O, and the F is fake. I've got one of the six-letter words. There's still another six-letter word out there. Condo, nice. No, there's no A. Donor, nice. Odor, nice. Rude, R-O-O-D. Interesting word. Croon, like sing. There's a five letter word be that is before condo. I'm trying to figure out. Coden. Not familiar with that word. All righty. Next up is level 15. Once again, we're gonna have a hidden letter and a fake letter. <clears throat> Hidden letter and a fake letter. Wow, that's a lot of vowels. All right, so the hidden letter is an N and the J is fake. N as in Nancy is the hidden letter. Mm, 
Somebody got that one already. Nope, that's not a word. Sons. Already tried that. So the hidden letter is N as in Nancy and the J is fake. It's all right. We got to level 15. That's respectable. That's respectable. All right. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Oh, let's see. Brian got 16 words. Marty got 12. DM Ropar got 10. Josh got 8. Raven got 1. And Ryan Matthews got 1 word. Good job, everybody. We're going to stop it with the words on stream. And we're going to talk about an armchair treasure hunt. Let me bring myself back up. I am right there. We will minimize that. Move this over to here. Minimize that over to there. <laughs> Thank goodness he says. So I thought we'd have a little bit of fun, a little bit different. Uh, there's an armchair treasure, and I thought maybe we could work on work on it together. Uh, this armchair treasure is called Mission Overland. Mission Overland. They have a website, and I'm going to go ahead and put the website link in the chat. This is what we've been training for. <laughs> uh, this is what we've been training for, he says. And because it's kind of relatively simple, I've worked on some of these. <laughs> And I'm going to go over the ones that I've done. I thought maybe we could work on some of these together. Uh, the the treasure hunt, they have a token hidden in different uh, national forests. Uh, there's, a, there's a medallion. It's numbered. Uh, they have these two PVC cap ends taped together. And these are hidden in different national forests in the United States. And there were different... Oh, we and we still have the Rebus. We still have the Rebus, and we're okay. We're nearing the end. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what, what the Rebus is. It's a Buccaneer. That was today's Rebus. A Buccaneer. Yeah, I know. I like that one too. <laughs> so that was today's Rebus. Was a Buccaneer. A Buccaneer. So let's see. Let me let me show you some examples. So he's he's hidden these in uh, different national forests, and I'll put this over here for now. And I was working on this one. We're going to go back. It's called Mission Overland. He hid these tokens. Uh, there's no cash involved. It's just you find the token and it's yours. He does ask that people... Okay, these are a different order than I thought it was going to be. Oh, no, it's not. Eight. Keep going. And 76. So this is the, he has these clues. He gives them out like once a week. This is number 76. Uh, to one in sympathy with nature, each season in its turn turn seems the loveliest. 
Be brave, a walk into the wilderness is ahead, is ahead, a lookout and a view of pines. The lake is not your destination. And then there's a map or a, a drawing. Every one of these has a drawing at the end. And so I took the information that was here and a lookout and a view of pines. Uh, I found Pine View Lookout Tower in Mark Twain National Forest. And so uh, Mark Twain National Forest is in southwest Missouri. So if you or anyone wants to look for a, a little treasure of a medallion out there, and they're not far from southwest Missouri, you go to the Pine View Lookout Tower in Mark Twain National Forest. Uh, you follow the road from the tower 300 and... Uh, at a compass reading of 310 for 25 paces down the road, you will have some type of group of two trees, and then you go 24 paces at a bearing of 15, and then you will find the medallion there. So there's one of the treasure hunts as an example. I was just having fun with this today. How did I find about this one? I think it was on one of the treasure hunt Facebook groups. It's Mission Overland. And you can click the link in there. It'll take you to, to where it is. I think I found it on one of the on the uh, Facebook groups. It might have been Kyle Lazar's Grand Adventure or um, Jenny Kyle's Facebook group. This one is Lying in the Lone Star State, named for the first president, a popular trail bearing the state's nickname, Start at the Western Terminus. So this one... Lying in the Lone Star State. So that's Texas, named for the first president. Named for the first president. First president, I don't know. But it was in, um, it's the Lone Star Trail, Sam Houston National Forest. Well, now I'm not so sure if that's the right one. A popular chair bearing the state's nickname. Oh, the state's nickname is Lone Star Start at the Western Terminus. There's a long trail called the Lone Star Trail. And uh, the western end is near Richards, Texas. Richards, Texas is north of Houston. And it looks like there's a little map here. We'll take you to where it looks like it's hidden in, in the uh, hollow of a tree. So I've been working on, let's see, what is this, 107. There's one in New Mexico, and we, maybe we can do that one. And I didn't get this one fully figured out. And here I'll take so many advice. Fabled for its seven cities of gold, one follows 25 to the south. In Earth, O-N-M 20, 50, 53, there is room by the sign to park. And there's a map, and it looks like the, one of the National Forest signs. Are there any parks named for Washington? Uh, there is George Washington National Forest. This is National Forests. El Dorado. Uh, the website does have the list of the National Forests that he's hidden something in. Any in Colorado. Uh, I, I don't know, but if you go to the website, uh, main page, so three of these have been found already, and they've been found in Nevada, Kentucky, and looks like North Carolina. Uh, he's broken the country into six different regions, and let's see, Colorado would be in North Central. So there's one in number seven. I, these are all of the numbers of the treasure hunts. He has not. He's released some of these have been released. He doesn't have it. So. Um, I don't know where seven is. It's not one of the ones I worked on. Cities of Go oh, Cities of Gold, El Dorado. Uh, there was something about the seven cities of gold in, uh, it looked like Cibola National Forest, C-I-B-O-L-A. Head back over here. Uh, Cibola... Cibola National Forest involves has a it's a big area, not only east of Albuquerque but also these three marks over here. And the reason I think it's these three 
is because ONM is the airline code for this town, Socorro, Socorro Municipal Airport. I think I can just click on it. It'll give me. So ONM is the airport code for Socorro. So I'm thinking this might be a some type of bearing, like 20 degrees, 50 minutes, 53 seconds or something. Uh, but I have not been able to get it everything. Uh, one follows 25 to the south. I'm pretty sure that is uh, I-25, Interstate 25, south of Albuquerque. Zip code, uh, it, except that it's five, it's six digits instead of five digits. I should have zoomed this in for you guys. Interstate 25 runs through New Mexico. Yep. So all I have for that one is uh, oops, I-25 South. ONM is Socorro Municipal Airport. Um, that 20, 50, 53, I'm not quite sure if that's a bearing or what that is. Um, but I'm thinking it's this is the entrance sign to the National Forest, which if it's Cibola or something else. And this looks like one of those cow grates. I've seen them in, in New Mexico, but I haven't been able to... There's some street views I can see closer, but I'm not sure exactly where this is. So it looks like you park at the entrance sign and then the token is somewhere hidden. Calgary, yep, I agree. So what I've just started working on, I thought we could work on this yet. And if you could figure out the New Mexico one, go for it. So, I, so we figured out one, or I figured out one for uh, Southwest Missouri. I have another one for North of Houston. And go ahead and pick it up if you want. I'm just having fun with this the research one part of it. This is number 107. This land was named for a who fought was named for a man who fought like a gamecock. Very near where three forests come together. The name Burrell is important, and parking will be obvious. Rocks are too far. So you got a little bit of a map. It looks like you're in a sign. Do some rock hop across a creek, it looks like. So the land was named for a man who fought like a gamecock. That term is for Thomas Sumter, who fought in the American Revolution. Thomas Sumter. So that could be a county. I didn't even. I should have looked at the list. Is there a Sumter? Um, nope, not that one. This one. Oh, I moved it over here. Is there a? I've got the list of national forest. Is there a Sumter National Forest? There is a Sumter National Forest. Oh, geez. All right. Fort Sumter, it could be. There are some towns also named. Sumter National Forest. So Sumter National Forest is where? It's all good. Sumter National Forest. All right, this looks like South Carolina. Charlotte is North Carolina. Maybe I should use over here. Some, some, Sumter, S-U-M-T-E-R. I want to put a P in there too. Sumter National Forest. Yes, South Carolina. Where is it? Sumter National Forest. Hmm. Whatever reason is not giving me a place. 
So Sumter National Forest. Let me go back to the thing. The land was named for a man who fought against him. Very near where three forests come together. The name Burrell is important. Parking will be obvious. So it kind of starts like this is the general area. Then as he goes further in the lines, gets more and more specific in the place. Very near where three forests come together. I don't know what, what that clue means. Can I go to... Sumter National Forest website. There's a Burrell Trail. Uh, for this uh, Raven, for for this treasure hunt, he's hidden them all in national forests. So if the historic site is in the national forest. Washington on the Brazos State Historic Site. Come on, bring it up, please. Kind of looks like it's a Texas historic site. Burrell's Ford Trail. Oh, there's a Burrell Trail in South Carolina. Okay, you guys are B-U-R-E-L-L -L Trail. No. Two R's, two L's. Burrell Trail. No, it's not going to be there. R E L L Trail. Not in Pennsylvania. Maybe called something else in Sumter National Forest. Okay, I get I'm getting sidetracked. Sumter National Forest. Getting to know the forest. Usually I like to just look at the maps because I like to look at maps. I'm kind of like Toby in that way. Forest visitor maps. I look at the motor vehicle use map. Four different districts. Oh goodness. Oh, Burrell's Ford. Okay, somebody mentioned Burrell's Ford. So, so have some fun with it. Check see if there's one near near your area. Uh, check to see if maybe there's one not near you, but you have a friend or something. Go go have them look for it. It's just a fun little thing that somebody provided. Again, it's Mission Overland, and he's calling it the Quest. It's on All Trails website. Okay. Have some fun with it. I was just having doing the research. You know, I'm not near anywhere near South Carolina or Southwest Missouri or New Mexico. Or maybe go tell Toby to go look for it, the one in, in New Mexico. <laughs> uh, what was the other one? Oh, in Texas. I'm not near near Texas anymore. So have some fun with it. I, I just thought, you know, I was just spending an hour just looking for these different things. It's just fun. It's not too difficult. Uh, he says some of them are easier than others, and so that uh, that one before with the New Mexico one, maybe I'm not quite right, uh, but each of them has a couple of clues and then a little trail map or a little image to help you find out the thing. I thought it was a fun little thing, but now we're at the end of Priddle Mondays, and uh, before we head out, I want to let you know that I will be off next Monday. I am getting hitched. I am getting married this coming weekend, and I'm going to take Prittle Monday off this coming Monday. So no Prittle Monday this coming Monday. I will be back in two weeks. You got it, Brian. Thank you, DM. <laughs> yes, I'm getting married this coming weekend. Uh, so Prittle Monday, no Prittle Monday this coming. 
it will be the following Monday. And let's see, we're still a couple minutes from uh, the Hint of Riches. The Hint of Riches, they're going to be doing a treasure. Uh, they're going to be going over, it looks like the clues, and they're going to try to figure out on the stream over at the Hint of Riches, both the Mr. Clue and the Dono, Domo, I forgot what the other one was, but the two they talked about recently. Uh, looks like they're going to go over the clues and try to figure it out uh, on the stream today. Ah, there's my sweetie. Yes. Uh, no riddle gift. <laughs> no wedding gifts. No, no, no. <laughs> Mr. Clue. Yes, they're going to talk about Mr. Clue tonight in a couple minutes. So don't go. be afraid to head over to the Hint of Riches. Uh, they're coming up in a couple minutes. But that will be the end of Priddle Monday. I hope you enjoyed the time on Priddle Monday today. I will see everybody in two weeks. Enjoy the rest of your week and enjoy the rest of your day. Take it easy, everybody.